Hey friends, in this video, I've got a couple cool things. I have a giveaway for channel members. I'm going to send somebody this charger. This is from me personally. This is just from How to Wrench. I'm going to send you my battery saving desulfating charger because I have collected quite a few of these that I bought and then also Optimate is a channel sponsor and they just sent us the latest greatest ones. So if you're really curious and wondering if these desulfating uh, battery savers can really work, if it's the real deal, I suggest you stay tuned to this video because I'm going to show you, I happen to capture two out of four batteries here that we just uh, saved. I, I went ahead and recorded two of them. I've got three saved right now. Over $200 in batteries are saved with a $60 charger. Let me show you the one that's on there right now. Uh, I'm hoping that this is going to be battery number four, would, would, which would put this whole little scenario at up over 300 and like 50 bucks in batteries that were saved uh, with this charger. When they're bad, you can see what it'll do. It goes into save mode. It does it all on its own. Hey, I'm going to talk more about this in this video and show you the proof of the two out of the four that I recorded. And maybe it'll even be, uh, this one will be finished by the time I get done. I could show you how cool this is. And then you can learn about the giveaway and how to get mine, my personal How to Wrench one. I'll even slap a How to Wrench sticker on it. And I will send that to you as a member of the channel. So, all right. If I caught your attention and you want to know more about this, stay tuned. Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This video includes timestamps, so check out the description below if you want to bounce ahead and just grab the info that you want. This might be rocket science, but for the operator, it just plain is stupid easy. All you're going to do is hook it up. It's got reverse polarity protection. This is going to figure out, it does all the testing for you, and it basically goes through these stages where it's going to decide, hey, should I charge? Is my voltage high enough, low enough? Does it need to go through the de uh, desulfating uh, process? That's basically where it takes and gets the crap off the plates and uh, rejuvenates them somehow through its magic and gets them to, uh, to come back to life. And like I said, I've, I've been doing this forever with this brand of charger. It's definitely my go-to, and I have numerous chargers across the bench from old... Uh, manual chargers you know a good old uh schumacher that's just plug it in no circuitry i got another little one back there i got another one right there but the charger that i always grab is the optimate because of this feature it just saves me the hassle and trouble of uh making things happen there are a, a time and a place for like the ones without the circuitry i can talk about that in some of my other videos but in this video i'm really going to focus on what this does as far as you just plug and play and then coming back and going whoop hey it's uh back to life and good um so like i said just just recently let me pop in a little video up to the side here we saved this battery as well here we are about four hours later let's see what we got Nice. Optimate saved. Another battery. We saved the chopper one outside. Uh, and then uh, the TW200. And now we're trying to save the one out here. And l let's be honest here. This is completely my fault for not getting on a better maintenance schedule. I can make excuses all the time about being too busy. I have a lot of vehicles. You know, we got another one out there with a battery, the DL1000, we got the DL650, we got uh, the 95 Ducati, even the 75 Ducati has a battery in it. And I'll be honest, I just haven't been very good about keeping track of all of my own vehicles. So, uh, I was talking to Optimate, I ran into uh, a situation where I was on their website looking at things, I happened to notice that they had battery chargers that were specifically labeled for deep cycle. So as I'll put a little clip in here, I'm going to do a full dedicated video on lithium chargers and on uh, deep cycle batteries uh, chargers. But I'm going to I'm going to wait because what what Optimate's going to do for us is they're going to get with me personally and provide some training and some know how so that I can pass on everything I can learn and think about on battery chargers and why these products are so special and get those to you. I know that they have a big focus and we've had a big focus. It's been on our radar for the last year or so. Actually, almost two years because this is a battery I had my R6 track bike. I love the fact that it weighs nothing, but it had this funky port on there. Let's see if I can get that off. Had this funky port, and I started looking in that, and they had like radio control. 
uh, and drone chargers. I've actually got one right there to try as well. But in the process, I had talked to Optimate, and they have uh, specific lithium battery chargers, and they're going to train me all about it. So these are coming up in future videos. I just wanted you to know, you know, that they have a whole line of dedicated chargers. I put all the links below, as always, in the description so you can meet your needs. I'm a little, uh, little shocked by this one here, especially for its lightweight, nothing to it. But the fact that with one touch of a button, you can do 12 or 24 volts. So in the RV world uh, and in the marine world, this is going to be something I'd see would be super, uh, super common for us. I know we have a lot of UTV fans on the channel that are pulling toy haulers and, uh, and RVs that have you know, two 12 volt batteries coupled or whatnot. So this is this is cool to take carry on that. But what blows my mind is it actually goes all the way up to 10 amps and it doesn't necessarily use all 10 amps. It uses what it needs, but it has that capability. Well, shoot, that's like my big... My big old perm, or you know, just hardcore plug it in and go charger back there was a 10 amp one. These smaller ones, both of my Optimates, the one I showed you over there, are 8 tenths of an amp. And at first, I always thought, wow, that seems kind of low. And they had, you know, higher rated ones. But the reality of it, is it just works. It works all the time. I'm going to show you, like I said, by the time I get done with this video, I guarantee I could show you three of those batteries, maybe even a fourth one that it saved. I'm really hoping that this will bring this one back to life, but if it doesn't, this has literally been dead now, has not been touched for a year and a half. It was May of uh, 19, I believe, when I went into trackway at Button Willow Raceway in California, and I didn't trust it, so I pulled it out, set it aside. I'd charge it with uh, the regular charger, both Optimates and someone else, and I just wasn't sure... I just didn't feel good about because I don't know about lithium. That's the whole point of getting with the manufacturer of this stuff and going, teach us Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, super stoked about that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put, like I said, a link below. I want to do like a little thank you in, in honor of uh, Optimate for supporting the channel. And I want to do a little thank you to you fans. We've had a, uh, quite a few new... Uh, uh, people join the channel. That's a super great way. The best $2 a month you could ever spend to say thank you. But I told you, if you're a member of the channel, uh, that's a way that you are eligible to be enrolled for giveaways. I want to start giving a lot of this stuff away. So I think this is pretty cool because, like I said, it still works great. It has the quick uh, uh, coming with the alligator clips and everything. You're going to be able to plug it in, and you're going to be able to save some batteries yourself. I, uh, uh, man, I love having these... Uh, tool sponsors, like I said, not only support the channel, but a willingness to uh, to dig in with us and take that deeper dive because that's what a lot of our fans like on this channel. So I am going to get back at it. I just want to thank you for uh, tuning in, saying hi. I hope you are uh, ready to see quite a few new videos uh, coming out. We got a bunch of content, like I said, recorded. i uh, been crazy busy with my full-time job. So as I get back in it, we will, uh, we will keep going. This one's really bad. I uh, left it off for quite some time. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I still have it up. No, I don't have it up. I made a document to try and avoid this. I made a document on the computer on my Google Drive that uh, I put all the vehicles and I put a uh, not only a battery charging date, but I put a running date where I, I write on the document the date that I ran them to full operating temp because as all these, you know, started with the chopper, when this thing wouldn't start, I was bummed. I've got license and shirt now, and I'm like, I should just go ride this thing. Why am I not enjoying it? Thing's stupid cool. 145-inch motor. Uh, the DL starts and runs every single time. But I use it. I use it. That's my main bike, so it's no surprise that I'm not having battery issues. But I was bummed about this, and then I started thinking, you know what? When's the last time that... Uh, I charged it, and I had a little uh, tag in the file saying the last time it ran, and I didn't realize how fast six months just disappeared from me. So I was bummed at myself. Uh, and check this out. As long as that had been sitting, look at what happened. The, it had California gas in it. Can you see how it crystallized the fuel lines? Dumb. Dumb, Shane. Get that crap out of there. And then... Uh, the other thing I just am, am sick about, it's been a crazy couple years of moving so many times, is the old Ducati, that is a runner, ran on the dyno, 66 rear wheel horsepower, I mean, stupid fun, uh, old bevel drive uh, Ducati, it was done, ready to go, carb jobs, fluids, batteries, everything else, 
and I haven't taken care of it. It's just been sitting. So what's what's that mean? All of that's going to be redone. I probably wrote it like one or two days and all that work is wasted. Same thing with this Ducati. It was done. Carbs, fuel system, tank serviced, belts. I mean, the whole nine yards. And then I moved and it just sat and ran. So stupid, stupid, stupid. God, <laughs> it just, uh, just kills me. And I, I sit here and I think of all this money and all this stuff. Sometimes, you know, having too many actual working motorcycles uh, is just plain dumb. So I got to get better about my own stuff and think, hey, why don't I kind of cycle these out and play with them a little more? And that's my plan. Uh, really excited to get back on this thing, especially with all the luggage, man, and doing my grocery shopping. It is freaking beautiful here in Phoenix. All right, friends, I'm starting to ramble on, so I'm going to let you go. I appreciate uh, all the comments you guys always, guys and gals always put below. So tell me what you think of all this stuff, and let's find out. Uh, I'll give it like a 30 day window and see who I'm going to, which member I'm going to send that to with your hot wrench sticker and uh, you can go start your own little maintenance program and saving batteries. All right. Thanks again to Optimate. As always, my friends, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff and keep wrenching.